column subtraction with exchanging. In this nugget, the learning objective is to subtract four digit numbers using the column method with exchanging. First, we'll recap using the column method for subtraction without exchange, and then we'll use the column method with exchange. So let's recap by solving this calculation. 1246 subtract 121. The first thing that we've done is we've lined up all of the numbers so that they're in the correct column. We use pictures here to help us. So the first thing we need to do is start at the ones. 6 subtract 1 is 5. Then we move to the tens. 4 tens subtract 2 tens is 2. Then on to the hundreds. 2 subtract 1 is 1. And then on to the thousands. We've got 1,000. We're not subtracting anything, so it stays as 1. So our answer is 1,125. Now let's have a go at this calculation. 1,242 subtract 1,125. So, as before, we're going to start at the 1s. So we've got 2 and we need to subtract 5. But we can't do that. So what we need to do is we need to exchange. We go to the 10s and we exchange 110 for 10 ones. To show that we've done this, we cross out the original number in the tens column and then we write the number that's one less because now there are only three tens in the tens column. Now we go back to the ones column and instead of just two ones, we've now got 12 ones because we've got that extra 10 that we exchanged over from the tens column. Now that we've got 12 ones, we can subtract the five. 12 subtract five is seven. Now we continue into the tens column. Here we've got three, we need to subtract two, so we've got one. Now into the hundreds column. Two subtract one is just one. And finally into the thousands column. We've got one and we need to subtract that one, so now we haven't got any thousands. But remember, we just don't need to put zero at the front of a number. So our answer here is 117. Let's have a look at another example. This time, 4,345 subtract 2,193. So we set it out like this with every number in the right column and we start at the ones. 5 subtract 3 is 2. Then we move over to the tens. Now straight away we can tell that we're going to need to exchange in this column because 9, the number on the bottom, is greater than 4, which is the number on the top. To remember when to exchange, think about this. If there's more on the floor, pop next door. So there's more on the floor here because 9, the number on the bottom, is greater than 4, the number on the top. We can't take away 9 from 4. So what we need to do now is pop next door into the hundreds and exchange. So we're going to exchange 100 for 10 tens. So we cross out the original hundreds digit and we subtract one from it. So now we've only got two hundreds. Then we go back to the tens and we add the tens that we've exchanged from the hundreds. So now, instead of having four tens, we've got 14 tens. 14, take away nine, we can do that. That's five. Then we continue into the hundreds. Two subtract one is just one. And into the thousands, four subtract two is two. So our answer is 2,152. Now it's your turn. Can you solve 7,548 subtract 5,828? Pause the video and have a go.
Well done if you set out your calculation like this. You should have started at the ones. 8 subtract 8 is 0. Then on to the tens. 4 subtract 2 is 2. On to the hundreds. I can tell that I'm going to have to exchange here because there's more on the floor. 8 is greater than 5. We can't take 8 away from 5. So we pop next door into the thousands column. And we exchange a thousand for ten hundreds. So we cross out the original value. We take away one. And then we write the new value. So there are now only six thousands. We go back into the hundreds column and we add those hundreds that we've exchanged. So now instead of having five hundreds, we've got fifteen hundreds. Fifteen subtract eight is seven. Then we move on to the thousands column. Six subtract five is one. So our answer is one thousand seven hundred and twenty. So remember, when using the column method for subtraction, always start subtracting in the ones column. If the bottom digit is bigger than the top digit, you need to exchange from the next column. Remember, if there's more on the floor, pop next door. Then you need to cross out the original digit, subtract one and write its new value. And then you need to go back to the previous column and place a 1 in front of the original number. 